New Orleans, the birthplace of American music, the birthplace of jazz. We all revere the unique art form that was created in our great country. Music that came out of the pain and suffering of the African American experience through 246 years of enslavement and the ensuing years of oppression. Today we honor these figures for their contribution to our culture and heritage. But many of the historic buildings of these figures here in New Orleans have been demolished and left to decay so they can be torn down. We have already lost the birthplace of Louis Armstrong, easily one of the most important figures in music in a global sense. Perseverance Hall hosted dances in the 1910s where many future jazz legends performed, including Freddie Keppard, Joe King Oliver, and Sidney Bechet. Damaged in Hurricane Katrina in 2005, the Louisiana Landmark Society put the property on its list of most endangered sites in 2007. However, in 2021, it still is waiting to be saved. But who will save it? Currently, Trumpeter Buddy Bolden's home is being denied the care and preservation it needs as the owners wait for it to rot and collapse so they can develop the land. This is a crime against all who hold our culture dear. Although we have had success in saving some landmarks, such as guitarist banjo player Danny Barker's house, we still need to stay vigilant and force those that would allow our heritage to disappear to be held accountable. And most recently, the tragedy of the Karnofsky Building, Louis Armstrong's second home collapsing during Hurricane Ida in 2021 due to disrepair and apathy brings into stark contrast that time is not on our side. Every day we waste, we will see more historic structures disappear from a city that relies on this very heritage to survive. <laughs>